Hello, this is Cosmocat and today we will learn how to use Boolean variables. And you ask me what is Boolean variables and why we should use them. Well, if you played or at least saw some telltale games like Batman or um, Walking Dead, you could have seen little notifications uh, like this character will remember that when uh, you do something in those games. Like you uh, say something and the characters remember that and like in five hours he says, oh, I remember you said this or that. And this is easily achieved in RenPy using Boolean variables. What a variable you ask? Well, a variable is uh, like a container that uh, contains some information. It can be text, it can be some numbers or anything else. And a Boolean variable, well, the best explanations of what Boolean variable are, I saw in RPG Maker. In RPG Maker, Boolean variables are called switches. And if you look at your um, wall, you might see a light switch. And a light switch can uh, be in one of two positions. It can be on or off. And Boolean variable is basically a switch that can be set to true or false. It can be anything else, only true or false, like a switch can be on or off. So let's see uh, our game. We have uh, our idiotic game called AI Cream, where Bobby says that he's beautiful but no one likes him. And Susie uh, says it's because he smell bad. And we can kill Susie or kiss Susie. When we choose one of these options, we jump to a different label. Uh, we go to label kill Susie or we go to label kiss Susie. But these many options uh, don't have to jump to other labels. They can just execute some code and continue our game uh, after the menu. So let's uh, let's remove this kill Susie option. I don't want to kill Susie. I don't like this. And let's say uh, instead of killing Susie, Bobby will just uh, cry. <laughs> yeah. He will cry or kiss Susie. And we remove our jump statements because we don't want to jump to other labels. And uh, here where Bobby kiss tries to kiss Susie, she says, get away, you freak, as previously. And when we choose cry, we just say Bobby or cries. Why, why not? And after this, we will hide Susie and say uh, that Susie left. So the game continues as usual. Uh, Bobby went home. And here we can use the outcome of this menu. Let's say if Bobby tried to kiss Susie, she will call him and um, I'll and he say, I'm sorry, Bobby, I didn't want to upset you, uh, something like that. And if he cried, then Susie won't uh, call him. To do so, we need to create a Boolean variable because now whatever we choose here to cry or kiss Susie, that don't affect our game in any way except this one line. So let's create a variable. To do so, we go up where we define our characters and write default. Default is a special command to create variables. Let's just uh, call this variable kiss and this variable equals false with capital F at the beginning of the game so we start with kiss equals false and that means Bobby didn't kiss Susie didn't try to kiss Susie and here in this menu when where we choose to kiss Susie we write 
dollar sign. Dollar sign means that this line is the Python language line, and we write case equals true with capital T. So we change the variable keys from false to true. And later in the game here, we can check if case equals true or false. To do so, we need a conditional. Conditional is a special command that is absolutely logically called if. We write if kiss colon and here after four spaces we write what will happen if Bobby tried to kiss Susie. Susie uh, called Bobby later this evening to apologize. Yeah. And if he didn't try to kiss her, then we write else at colon and after four spaces we add what will happen if he didn't try to kiss her. Uh, maybe he, Bobby, cried the whole evening at home. So let's try this. Bobby says he's beautiful, Susie says he smells bad, and we cry or kiss Susie. If we cry, Bobby cries, we hide Susie, Susie left, Bobby went home, and Bobby cried the whole evening at home. If we choose to kiss Susie, Susie says, get away, you freak, then she left again, Bobby went home, and Susie called Bobby later this evening to apologize. So we can see that this kiss variable works as intended and in any part of the game we can check if Bobby tried to kiss Susie and change the outcome of any part of the game. So let's add this little notification like in uh, Telltale games that will tell us that Susie will remember this. To do so we add another dollar sign on and there is a special command called renpy dot notify and in brackets we write the text that will pop up in the notification Susie will remember this like that when we try to kiss Susie, Susie will remember this. Then it disappears after like two seconds. If we uh, click cry, then there is no notification because we didn't add it here. So as you can see in the menu, you can add as many lines or on and any code you want that will perform after this uh, action. Then the game goes as usual, and then we can remember if our player chose to kiss Susie or not. So you can create any amount of variables you want to any to remember any player actions, and then use if and the name of this variable to check if the player uh, did something. Uh, so if kiss. Uh, it's the same if we wrote if kiss equals equals true. It's the same code that will do the same. So we don't have to use else block if you don't want to. So if you don't want to Bobby to cry the whole evening, you d don't have to use else here and just uh, continue your visual novel as usual here. So that's it for today. Thank you and to the next time.